example, um, we have a setup here with a 5.5 kilowatt energy storage system, 10 kilowatt hours lithium ion uh, batteries. Uh, we will show you very quickly how to set up um, the, the system to operate in hybrid mode with uh, the grid. First of all, let's start from the basics. We have two MPPT controllers, maximum PV input is six and a half kilowatts. In our setup, we connected only one string of uh, eight solar panels. This is the PV switch that is uh, switched on at the moment. On the top side, here we have the AC input. We need to use the AC input when you operate in parallel with the grid. The AC output is used only for off-grid operation in critical loads. Uh, remember that it's very important to connect your three-core cable to this port and back to the consumer unit with a 32 amp MCB. The next important part before you switch on the system, you have to connect the BMS cable. Without the BMS connection, you shouldn't um, uh, start charging or discharging the batteries. The BMS comes with the inverter and it is connected to this port. RS485. If you have pylon tech batteries, it is exactly the same inverter but uh, we deliver this with a black cable uh, that is marked as PYL on this side. And then the procedure is quite straightforward. You link this port, the RS485 port, to the second battery. There is a button here. You need to set it up to number zero for the first battery and number one for the second battery. If you have a third battery, you set it to number two, and the fourth battery is set to number three. DC breakers for the batteries. And special power cables with Amphenol uh, connectors. So once you set up your BMS system, you don't have to uh, change anything in the inverter because the inverter will automatically uh, communicate with the batteries. No need to, to put any settings on the screen. Uh, the other important part is the energy meter. If you want to control the power flow, you must install the energy meter before the consumer unit of your property. Uh, the Modbus card is pre-installed. Pins uh, 4 and 5 are in use and pins uh, 9 and 10 on the energy meter. We are going to have a look now on the energy meter. So this is our energy meter. That's the first version, the Modbus 1. Now we have the Modbus V2, but the wiring and the settings are exactly the same. So you can see here the two pins, number uh, 9 and 10. And the energy meter right now is uh, the system withdraws 600 watts. On the, once the batteries are fully charged, it's going to start pushing the power back to the utility, back to our uh, loads. The current stage, the inverter is charging from solar, 783 watts, and it will keep charging, but it doesn't discharge anything back to the load because our aim right now is to fully charge the batteries. When the PV power will be lost, Let's simulate that. Let's switch off the power from solar. The system will, char will start discharging. The settings will be adjusted by the user. I will show you how to do that in a bit. Let's go back to the energy meter. The power now is nearly zero. Previously, uh, the system, the, the warehouse, uh, consumed like 650 watts and now it's nearly zero. So all the energy now is coming from uh, the batteries. If we go back now to the system, some important parameters to uh, uh, pay more attention. This is the mode uh, grid tight with backup two. AC charging is in, uh, in menu 4, enable or disable, the default setting is enable. 
uh, that's menu number four feed into the grid function we disable we don't want to feed energy back to the grid we want to feed only the domestic loads again battery feed to the grid uh, the default setting is disabled we don't want to discharge the battery back to the grid we discharge only when there is uh, local demand from our uh, domestic loads another important menu is the menu 21 this has to be set to 5.5 kilowatts this is the maximum power we can get out of the inverter remember this is menu 21 the rest of the settings are entirely up to the user how they will set up their uh, their system uh, bear in mind if you want to charge specific hours let's say you have a cheap tariff at night you can go to menu 7 and this is your uh, ac charger you can set it you can set the on time and the off time yeah so easy to set up your ac charger so that is uh, as i said the system a quick guide how to set it up there is not much you can do it's very important uh, to set up the batteries first I need to repeat that if the BMS is not working you shouldn't proceed any further if you see any error like 61 error here it means that the batteries they don't talk to the inverter and another way to check the uh, proper operation is the energy meter the energy meter should have the telephone icon here if you don't see the telephone icon it means the modpass card doesn't get any data from your energy meter check the polarity of the two cables 9 and 10 try to reverse the position between 9 and 10 until you see this uh, icon you also have to uh, do some uh, parameter settings on the energy meter this is explained in uh, in the manual So I think we cover everything, if you need uh, any more assistance please uh, contact us directly, thank you very much.